Hello! This week I made a 1930s yellow floral cotton dress. I cut out the pattern after I got it all put together and I happen to have just enough fabric. I got it on sale a while ago. I don't remember for how much but I know it was a good deal and I also don't remember how much I actually bought of it. So however much I had it was just enough for this dress. There were four skirt panels and I started by ironing them and connecting them. It's been a while since I've worked with cotton and it felt kind of refreshing. The floral in this fabric uh, makes it seem sort of summery, but I actually would say that it's fairly autumn-ish because it's like yellow and brown and you know like sort of like autumn leaf color. So I think it works for this time of year. And uh, right away I wondered if the skirt was gonna be too big, like if this was gonna look a little too boxy on me. But moving into the 1930s after the 20s, the shapes were still a little bit uh, boyish when it came to dresses. Like it was, uh, like the waist wasn't as defined as it would become in the 40s yet. And also, if the skirt is a little too big around the waist and it's a dress, then it's okay. And I knew that this dress had a belt situation that I could use to cinch the waist. I have not made a bodice this simple in a really long time. The bodice started out at least just plain, like sheath-like, <laughs> like like a sheath basically that's how it started at the very beginning before I attached the sleeves it was looking a little 60s which I wasn't like thrilled to see it's not really my chosen decade it's not really my chosen silhouette but I knew it was simply because the sleeves were not on yet and of the way that I had tied the bow I also wondered if it would be a little Hey. I also wondered if it might be a little tight around the bust, but I had only tried it on with whatever shirt I was wearing already on underneath it, so there was like this layer of fabric that wouldn't be there. So I do have to say that I did a very good job on this zipper. Hey! <laughs> I picked up at the store an invisible zipper just because I had never tried one and I wanted to see if it really did make a difference and it it does it does make a difference and also I've had a little bit more practice with zipper installation at this point so I think um, both of those things combined made made the zipper turn out really well even the color was perfect the only thing wrong with it was that I had accidentally stitched part of it to be outside of the dress but that wasn't even that noticeable and I was also able to like snip that off very carefully so now it's like can't even can't even really tell and if I didn't say anything I bet no one would ever see it so I was saying how the bodice was so simple but as you can see in the picture it's gathered a little bit right here so like right at the end of the neckline right here I did a little bit of gathering and that made such a big difference and it really like started to create this whole other feel and I figured out that I should do that by actually putting on the dress and seeing how the fabric had puckered like right here and so that's how I knew I needed to uh, gather like an inch or two of it in the front um, and then I also knew from that point how I should proceed with the bow. You make a bow the same way you make a sash or a fabric uh, belt and it was just like shorter and uh, I attached that on and then I tied it and I added the sleeves and the sleeves of course add a lot make it look not so 60s. The main things that I love about this dress are the bow and the sleeves. Like they are the selling points. Also the the sash 
is pretty important too. I would not wear this dress without some sort of belt or this sash. I have one other 1930s dress that is also made out of cotton and it was like one of my first actual dress projects. So that is a 30s dress made out of cotton and And I think cotton works really well with some of these 1930s designs. And right now the cotton has never been washed. Um, it's just like super crisp and kind of like a little more coarse than it will be once I've worn it and washed it a few times. So I'm kind of looking forward to like getting some wear in it. It'll be like a really nice casual type dress. And, and comfortable too. And it's not too tight around the bust. Once I've gotten everything else finished up, I've noticed that it's not uncomfortably tight around the bust or anything. I am pretty proud of myself with this, with this dress. All in all, I think this project took me like, I, I think in total to assemble it and finish it and everything. I think it was between six and eight hours maybe of work and I I think I just I did a great job. <laughs> I just think I did a really good job and uh, that's all about that. Um, I'm a good seamstress. Uh, okay uh, be sure to subscribe. So yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.